Here's how to get rid of those clogged pores on your nose that will not go away. One, you could squeeze, you could extract over and over again, but to be honest, you're probably gonna do more damage in the long run. It's best to make acids your friend. Now, the way I got rid of the clogged pores on my nose was by pairing together an acid that will gently exfoliate the surface with salicylic acid, which is a great acid for exfoliating inside of the pore. Together, combining them is magic. I like to use benzoyl peroxide or glycolic acid, not together, to exfoliate the surface of my skin, and then I pair it with a moisturizer or a serum that has salicylic acid in it, and it's like magic. just a couple days ago as you can see I've been struggling needed more than a spot treatment I saw a TikTok about these band-aids they're hydroseal and you're just supposed to leave them on overnight so I cut mine in half and put them on my forehead like this you can see how much they worked just in the one night I did this for two nights and look at my skin go get some Another TikTok fave, Maybelline's Tattoo Brow. Essentially, it's a gel tint that you put on your brows and you peel it off and your brows look filled. But not everyone loves a completely filled in brow, so if you like more of a natural microbladed look, I've got a simple hack for you. Start by putting the gel on a palette and then you're gonna use a small angle brush and you're gonna load the gel tint onto it. Then apply small hair-like strokes along the brow. Doing it this way, you have 100% control over the shape you wanna create and you can focus on putting the tint just on the sparse areas of your brows. It'll look really dark at first, but trust the process. And you want it to fully dry for about 20 minutes. Once the tint has dried, I recommend using a microfiber makeup cloth to easily remove the gel. And then you're left with perfectly natural tinted brows that'll last up to three days. How I got my skin from this to this using only two products. The first product I used is called Duac and it was a prescription medicine which had loads of benzoyl peroxide in it. This is really good for hormone induced acne and is what effectively made my skin clearer. After about two months I saw a major difference in my skin. The second product is this water based moisturiser which is really good for acne prone skin and it's from Neutrogena. I would avoid using any cream based moisturisers as it can clog up your pores. Christmas is to be a baddie with a fatty and I got just that first I got some buns of glory booty polish makes my buns look firm and glorious then I got some anti-cellulite body serum this makes my thighs look smooth and seamless just like your day should be going top it with some buns butter or some anti-cellulite body mask or both I've been bad but Santa clearly loves me Hi guys, today I'm running you through the A's, the B's and the C's of skincare. Vitamin A or retinol should be used if you are in your 20s or older. It prevents acne, reduces wrinkles and even skin tone. Apply retinol to dry skin at night. Vitamin B3 or niacinamide evens out your skin texture, restores hydration and minimizes large pores. You can use this in the morning or evening and it's super for all ages. Finally, vitamin C brightens skin tone and smooths fine lines. You can use it during the day to protect your skin or at night to repair your skin. The best lip combo ever. The Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in the shade Super Size Me with the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in the shade 540. Just do yourself a favor and go get it. A nighttime hair care routine. Psst. At night, I don't wash my hair. The first thing I do is I brush out any products and dried shampoo that could have built up on my scalp. Then I take either rose water or a hydrating scalp, apply it all over to refresh my scalp.
and I apply a few drops of this do-it-yourself hair growth oil I've been testing out. And if I'm not too tired, I take my scalp massager and I massage for about five minutes along the hairline. Grab a silk scrunchie, throw it into a low bun, and voila, done and ready for bed. Quick beauty tip, use two spoons to depuff your eyes. Place them in the freezer overnight, then pick them up, and then massage them over your eyes. It should feel super cooling and relaxing. Also great for under eye bags. How to make my legs look good in a mini skirt. Skirt, skirt. So first I exfoliate, I'm using matcha scrub. Then I shave my legs using cocoa cloud, the only cream that has ever helped me prevent razor bumps. Finally, the secret sauce. Yes, it is a butt serum, but who doesn't want their legs to be tight and glowing too? up to two to three months to see improvement if your skin is tolerating the different at night you can add clarified pads which are medicated with glycolic and salicylic acid in the morning and use different at bedtime